Desira can give the opportunity to communities to identify their problems in agriculture, in rural areas, in forestry, and to identify the best technology solutions uh, available. I think one of the most relevant uh, ideas of this era is this idea of digitalization is much more than devices, connectivity, and physical instruments. It's this idea that digitalization has a big impact in the life of the people. So we need to look at this from this perspective. The idea that is digitalization what is just throwing away rural people from the rural areas? or is this an opportunity? So the Desira project has given us the chance to identify which of the policy and EU strategies or instruments have impacted and how have they impacted the local communities that we have worked with in the context of the living labs. And as well, it has provided us with the chance to understand and identify what could be the future of digitalization and reduced the negative impacts of such digitalization processes. It's very important that we understand that all um, good policies have to have this uh, place-based uh, uh, approach because uh, local communities, they are very different from one from each other, but at the same time, we can learn very much from each other because there are wonderful projects and, and wonderful good practices that we could share and that we must share. And the only way to do it is to be together, is to be in touch and to have these exchanges like the one we have today and tomorrow in this very important meeting. We had the opportunity to meet with a lot of stakeholders and link policymakers, rural people, researchers, practitioners. These Horizon projects like the Desira are really important to provide evidence-based information so that we can have more efficient and, uh, and effective policies, which is something that we still lack. That's why I think they are so, so important. Such a projects uh, first help to collect together good practices, then people who work in rural areas come together, and at the end it's very important that we get also political recommendation from such a project. The rural development is not just uh, intuitive, but it's really evidence-based, data-based, and that we can share good practices, good examples, and find innovative tools how to share them. So I'm very happy to participate at this event. I'm very happy that those projects are supported. We have uh, used the terms of uh, transformative policies, something that don't just uh, solve problems, but uh, get at the roots of the problems. With this Living Lab method, uh, we have seen how uh, a solution can be experimented uh, at local level, but also can be reflection for learning at institutional level. The main impact of the Zebra project has been the fluid communication with the Commission as well as with the communities in, in the real context that has really established a, a fruitful dialogue. What I wish is that practitioners and policymakers do take more seriously the outcomes of these projects and work with them. So I will do my best in the European Committee of the Region so that my colleagues take those outcomes and we can work together uh, on the development of all areas. I'm sure that digital services, digital jobs will in future ensure that people will have quality life, live in rural areas and earn the money. It's not just about helping uh, businesses and creating new business opportunities in the rural areas, but it's very much a matter of social and territorial cohesion that is at stake. That's why I also find very, very important that we have this uh, central in our political debate. I'm sure that resilience of Europe depends on the resilience of rural areas. We need environment, we need food, and we need people who will live in rural areas. And such a project helps to, to reach this.